uh, in this class we are going to see about pin diodes okay so this is one of the kind uh, different types of diodes uh, its main application is it will it is used in microwave switching so why it is used in that application we will see now okay first we will see the construction of the pin diode so the pin diode is constructed like this one this is the p region this is the n region Now this middle is the I, okay. This I is uh, is a very inten uh, highly intrinsic resistivity, which is sandwiched between P region and N region. Fine. So now we can uh, also use as a P region with a high resistivity, so which is called as a pi region, or if we use N with a high resistive, then it is then it is called as a gamma region. So this is the construction of the PIN diode. Now we will come to the theory. Now we will draw once again. So why we will use pin diode means because it is highly imposed switching time in comparison of the PN diode. This is the P. Uh, I N okay now uh, if in the zero bias condition what will happen a thin layer of depletion region is formed in the N region whereas in I region uh, it uh, a thick layer a thick layer of depletion region is formed here I we are taking as a pi okay means highly resistive P region so in zero bias condition a thick layer of depletion region is formed now when applying with the reverse bias the first condition is the reverse bias condition so when applying the reverse bias it will gradually increase the depletion region in both the cases will gradually increase okay it will increase in such a way that it will completely cover this i region okay and it will swept out mobile carriers you can also say swept free of mobile carriers that's why it is also uh, the magnitude which the magnitude of the reverse bias needed to achieve this condition is called as a swept out voltage so that's why it is used in the most microwave application it is necessary to have the pi region swept out failing which current flow by mobile carriers in the high resistive pi region constitutes an undergo source of signal loss that's why we use in the microwave switches and the next uh, now as the reverse bias is further increased a thin layer of depletion region is formed in the p region okay if you further increase the reverse bias so now coming with the zero bias we know that the, the i region is having a very high resistivity when compared to p region and n region now what we will do we will apply a forward bias So as you see in the forward bias, when you apply the forward bias, the resistivity will decrease. decrease. So the concentration of holes and electrons remain almost equal throughout the I layer. 
if the lifetime of electrons and holes in the eye layer are relatively long and the eye layer is not too wide, then this region get flooded with carriers and moderate values of forward bias. Okay, so the forward current of the device is given by IF equals uh, A plus mu n q epsilon and the forward resistance is given by RF equals W by A. So this topic uh, we have seen now what is pin diode and how pin diode construction is there and the theory about it in zero bias condition, in the reverse bias condition and in forward bias condition. Thanks for watching.